Five Nights at Freddy's is an indie horror game, so you know it's, you know, good. The first Five Nights at Freddy's was insanely popular by a ton of kids who has watched PewDiePie videos and had a sort of amount of gameplay of maybe like 20 minutes until you realize, yeah, that's, uh... That's pretty much it. So, you know, because it got so popular, you know, people wanted a sequel. People really wanted one. And it was announced, and the guy probably thought, eh, you know, maybe a year, maybe a year and a half is like a good time to release a sequel to a game. But three months is exactly what I'm looking at because it's so easy to make a game like this. But hey, you know, I mean, I, I thought the first game was kind of boring. I, I think the sequel will now margin itself to make it a little bit more promising and maybe a little bit more entertaining than the first one. So hey, let's just go ahead and start it right up, you know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and start up five guys at Fuddruckers. Um, Sega has some collaboration with this ever since the blunder that is Sonic Boom. Well, we'll talk about that later. Also, Hasbro has some collaboration with this as well. I mean, people want to fuck ponies, people want to fuck animatronics, so <laughs> what's the difference? Already, I'm seeing a lot of uh, graphical improvements right here. Whoa! Now, these are realistic graphics, I gotta say. Like, how do you go from this to this? I mean, it's amazing. It's almost realistic. It's like... Wow! I mean, hey, you know, color me impressed. It feels like the same game, but definitely a whole lot more aesthetic change from, like, the usual creepy abandoned pizza place. Hell, Better biggest improvement of them all? They removed oh, Ness's dad, who, like, tells you all about the crap about the game. Like, exposition and training. That was the stupidest part of the game. Like, who does that these days? They sometimes changed the code, uh, ever since the bite of 2010. It, it, it very terrible. <laughs> Lots of blood right there. I, I'm glad I wasn't there. Uh, I mean, it's pretty good. They're explaining all the story through dialogue this time with the humans. Now, you might be thinking, wait a second, where's the Freddy Phaser Bear guy or the Sheikar guy that I want to fuck? Well, uh, well, they're not here. I guess this is a prequel before animatronics existed. Otherwise, we'd be seeing them. Instead, you got to see these guys over here. Uh, the, the whatever the fuck they are. Now, here's the big difference between this and that. And the first Five Nights at Freddy's, when the monsters come, they kind of just like... You know, they just stare at you. There's nothing you can really do, except for the fox guy, the fucking cheater. Uh, but, you know, they just stare at you. You really can't do, you know, anything about it. You just stand there and just stare at them. And this game, you can actually fight back! It's such a huge improvement. Like, it's like you should have done this a long time ago. Apparently, a lot of things have also changed. Apparently, an attack squad is about to infiltrate the place where Fazbear was created, I have to assume. And, you know, they set up guys like Solid Snake over here, and he, uh, oh, uh, 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 uh sorry. <laughs> uh,. Ouch. Although, here's the thing, you know, when you're trying to keep the casualty count to, like, a, a certain low point, you're inspiring a bunch of teenage girls to keep them alive, that's, that's kind of like a big, uh, not, not a big idea, because I'll be focusing more on them than the baddies themselves. Wink, wink. So, let's hear that tune, ladies! Party! Music! <laughs> what was that? I don't know. <laughs> so you know, I, I guess this uh, this this game is really good. It's a, it's really a huge improvement for a lot of things. You know, the graphics are better, gameplay is like the same but better. Uh, enemies are better, uh, gunplay is better. Most of all, the platforming top notch. I have to say, I haven't played this much good platforming ever since. Kirby's Air Ride on the 64. There are a few problems with this game, but I think the one I'm gonna point out the most is how cryptic this game is. Like, all of a sudden, this guy kinda tells me, hey, you're fired. And the story and unplugs like the fucking. <laughs> this guy just goes right in front of you and just unplugs the Sega Genesis. Not from the console, but from the controller itself. Like, dude, what the fuck? I mean, pfft, whatever. Four bucks an hour for this shit wasn't even worth it in the first place, Mr. Fazbear. I guess the question still stands. What the fuck do you want from me? 
Bunch of furry porn out of 10. Just play an absolute good horror game. Store policy stuff, but uh... Well, we were supposed to have like some pizza delivered here. Uh... But uh, it never came. Uh, so could, could you just let me pick up some pizza rolls? Uh, I, I'll pay you back 